And here's my friend Jones. Here's how her second tree is turning out so far. As you can see, she did um, a little thicker and wider tree trunk, and it's got a very birch-esque kind of look to it. The background's crackled, and so is the tree trunk. So we'll see her finished project at the end, too. Okay, everybody, so we've got our background tree ready to go. So I'm ready to start trimming it and adhering it to the frame. And so what we want to do is trim off this excess 12 by 12. And again, the trick to doing that is we're going to take our pencil again and come just on the edge and make a line. And taking our scissors, just go ahead and trim this off. This it doesn't have to be perfect. It's going to get hidden behind the mat. So there's that. So on our mat board, I'm going to use some double-sided tape. This just happens to be Scotch brand, I think whatever brand you're comfortable with. And what all we need it to do is um, a, make it have a tackiness to it so that our paper behind it adheres. It doesn't have to go coast to coast from end to end. Just needs to be placed here and there to make sure that the paper stays in place on the mat. So this is the first time that I've done any of this type of thing and I'm like, are you sure this is all it needs is just some double-sided tape and um, yeah, the answer was, yep, that's all it is. So I'm just getting really close to the edge of it so and making sure that I hit the corners as well. Okay, so that's, I've got the tackiness with the double-sided tape, and let's see here, get myself squared up again. Okay, so now I'm going to just cover up the lines, or get right to where my pencil lines were at on the previous one. And press down. And so, you know, the back of it looks like this. Isn't that pretty on this other side of it, too? <laughs> okay. So, so there's my tree matted. So I have went back to the Cricut, and I've cut out, I think I, I've started out with 10 leaves of each of these designs. And so to make sure that everyone's clear on which cartridge I'm using, I'm using Walk in My Garden, and the leaves are one inch and on the the leaves on the tree we opted to use the blackout feature so that um, it's a solid leaf and on the excuse me so on the on the border I went ahead and took the blackout feature off because I like the look of the scrolliness that's going to go around the edges so I'll go ahead and get probably three-fourths of the frame done and then we'll come back and we'll do the other side together. Okay everybody, the tree's been created. I've gotten some border on the edge of the of the mat board and after playing around with it a little bit I decided to go ahead and take the um, the leaves and just make a little triangle border. I think that's what I'm going to be the most happy with. And so Again, all I did was take some snail adhesive and come into the corners here with the leaf. Again, this is a one inch leaf. And so, hopefully, that you see how that went down. And using Whimsical Words um, stamp set. I went ahead and stamped the sentiment, you're never more than a thought away, and I put that directly onto the background of it. And I've made these little flowers. These are out of the flower trios and the new, I think it's the Itty Bitty Punches set that's in the Summer Mini. And I'm going to put those down on the bottom. And I think I'm going to go ahead and try to see if a dimensional will work on the back of them. And I've got those punched in um, Barely Banana and a, um, 
a regal rose color. So let's I'll see if it fits on the back of one. You know, what? I think it will. Excellent. And I'm gonna put. I'm gonna just layer these right on the bottom of the tree. So I'm gonna have my. I'm gonna go alternate with pink and yellow, pink and yellow. And actually, I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna change it up here real quick. I think I'm gonna maybe put the yellow down without the dimensionals, and I'll raise the the pink flower. Can you give it a little dimension? Ooh, I think I like that. Look at that, guys, on the fly. Mm. Oops. So this project's um, almost done. Allow yourself to have a lot of creativity with it. We, we meaning my friend Joan and I, are just having a ball trying different looks and everything to it. This is a project that... You know, it can be easy replicable once you get your design down and you know what it is. But sometimes the fun is just to see what kind of variations that you can come up with too, which is what I think we're having today. Wouldn't you agree, Joan? Yes. So, whoops, put that down. And then from my ever popular Flight of the Butterfly Punch or stamp set, and again, all of these images come in that stamp set. Kind of pause it for a little bit and, it's, and I make cut out this little itty bitty butterfly and again I'm going to put a dimensional on it probably a half of one where's my scissors there we go Put a little bit on because I'm going to raise him up and I'll have him be flying around the sentiment and then our family tree this version of it will be done So that's our family tree and we'll put that in a frame and we'll take different pictures and have that available on my blog. I hope you enjoy making your family tree. Joan and I had a ball making ours. Happy crafting everybody!